In this video, I'll show you how easy it is to create service tickets in ConnectWise with QuoteWorks. So let's start off by doing a quote here for Joe's Brewing. And I was speaking with Brian over there and he said that they needed um, a new printer. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and quote Brian over at Joe's Brewing a new printer. And what we'll do is go over to Edelize here and I know that they use Lexmark printers. So what we'll do is do a quick search. And what we'll do is go ahead and sort it and take a look at this printer here. Get pricing and real-time price and availability for my distributors. Uh, it looks like tech data has the lowest cost here. Let's go ahead and just check pricing from CDW and Dell real quick. And it looks like tech data has a lower price, but we actually have incentives right now to buy more from Ingram this month. So I'll select Ingram. And what I'll do is I'll schedule a call um, with our accounting department to give our Ingram rep a call to negotiate a better rate. And we'll do that with a ticket. So let's go ahead and add this printer. Click on Add. We'll go to Accessories. And what we want to do is make sure that uh, we go ahead and automatically add that toner. So we'll do that. Just get real-time price and availability again. Looks like we're probably going to want to um, have our rep negotiate our toner rates as well. Go ahead and add that guy. And then since we're going to be going on site, obviously we're going to want to charge the customer for our labor rate. So we'll pull that in from ConnectWise. So here's our labor. It's probably going to take us about two, maybe three hours uh, to install the printer and whatnot. So there we go. So what we have now is a basic quote. Um, so we've got our printer, our toner, and our labor. So let's go ahead and save this. And call this new printer. If I can spell that right. And we're going to create our sales opportunity, our link document. And we're going to create a, a, um, a one-off service ticket. And that service ticket is going to be for our accounting department. So what we're going to do is get create our opportunity here. It's going to be IT infrastructure. We'll go ahead and add the products to our quote here. Our opportunity, I mean. Okay. And it looks like our opportunity was created. Now we're going to go ahead and create our service ticket. And like I said, we're going to have accounting call. And um, what we'll do is call this printer price. I mean, a problem typing printer today. What we'll do is say negotiate better. And you'll notice that uh, I am typing into the internal analysis field um, and not the detailed description. And the reason behind that is that depending on how you have your client portal set up in ConnectWise, your customer may actually be able to see any of these notes. So anytime you're doing anything internal, make sure you use the internal notes fields. So let's go ahead and save this and go over and see the ticket inside of ConnectWise that we just created. So we'll go over here, we'll go over to service, and we now have that ticket. So there we go. So let's go back over to QuoteWorks now. And let's go ahead and just say, for example, that uh, Brian wants to move forward with this quote. So we'll go ahead and win it. Um, we'll go ahead and go to File and Convert to Order. Click on OK. What that's going to do is update that existing opportunity that we just created. Uh, but this time what we're going to do is win it, obviously. You'll notice that our screen is a little bit different now. Uh, so our status is one. And what we're going to do is, uh, instead of creating agreements and sales orders, what we're going to do is create a ticket for the products. And then also another ticket for um, each service. We only have one service, so we'll do service only here. So what we'll end up doing is completing the opportunity. And we'll also create a, a service ticket for the labor item and a service ticket for the products. And click on Save. It's updating that opportunity. And 
And what we're going to do now is create our tickets. So this is going to be a new ticket here for our products. And this time here, it is going to go to accounting. But this time we're going to do completed. And the reason I'm going to do completed is because what we're going to do is actually, um, after we get done with this, we're going to go ahead and place the order with Ingram via our um, via QuoteWorks. So we'll just do bill for printer. Click on save. And then this is going to be for our service, our labor flat right here. If we wanted to, we could link to an existing ticket. We're going to go ahead and just create a new one here. And this is going to be for our professional services. And we'll do new. And the service type is going to be break fix install printer and click on save all right so now let's go back over to connectwise if we do a refresh here actually uh, if we do a refresh on our service here you'll notice that we'll have a couple of different tickets And as you can see, we've got our existing ticket um, that we're ready to bill for. We've got our pending printer um, to get the price, but that would have already been taken care of. And then we've got our ticket to create that, uh, to actually install that printer. So that's how easy it is to create those, um, those tickets for us. And if we go back over to our opportunity, automatic uh, already won but what we'll do is we'll go over to our products and you'll see that each of them have been sent over to their individual and corresponding tickets as you can see it is very easy to create tickets and connectwise via quote works these tickets can be one-off tickets to remind you to do something or billable tickets for customers when they move forward with your quote or proposal. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We have more ConnectWise videos on our website. If you have additional questions about tickets or configuring your QuoteWorks with ConnectWise, please give QuoteWorks technical support a call at 407-248-1481 or email support at QuoteWorks.com.